Hi guys, it's Brett here from Neon Charge Gaming, and today I'll be showing you the Transporter class in the Minecraft game of Annihilation. The Transporter class is where the players have to teleport from one area of the map to the next. The Transporter spawns a wooden axe, pickaxe, sword, and a piece of nether quartz entitled Portal Maker. The Portal Maker item is what the Transporter uses to walk players around the map. Setting it up is really simple. All you've got to do is right click it on the ground, this will make the first portal block. Then right click it down somewhere else and this will make the connector. The black parcels will turn to smoke and this will identify to you that it is open and ready to use. Some things to bear in mind is that it cannot be placed in nexus areas, underwater, or with the block directly blocking it above. Now that the TP is set up, friendly players can easily use it to get to the location you chose. For someone to use the portal, they have to sneak while standing on it. Keep a close eye on your portal as enemy players can destroy them by simply right clicking it. Also, if you want to set up a different location, you can right-click the ground with the portal maker, allowing you to set up another. Another thing to watch out for is the portal timer. A timer will be displayed when you hold the portal maker item, which starts at 5 minutes. This is how long the portal will remain open for, and will break when the timer runs out. However, a good thing is that even if you do die, the portal does not get destroyed. Portals are a great way of dominating the game, as there are so many things you can do with them. A common technique is to use them for nexus rushing. This is where they are placed in a position where friendlies can simply teleport through and run out and damage the nexus. A good idea is to build a sky bridge which towers over the enemy's base. Then craft the launch pad with an iron block or a redstone lamp and put a stone pressure pad on it. So when teammates come through the portal, they can jump on the launch pad and get fired into the nexus without taking full damage. Another good technique is to set a TP up at mid before phase 3. So when the diamonds do spawn, your team can reap the rewards and indulge in the riches. Again, you can set the TP up at the boss spawn before phase 4, so when the boss portal opens up, your team will be there to jump in and kill the wither. Alternatively to using the portal to help the team out, you can use it in a more solo approach. You can place a TP down somewhere out of sight, and when you do get into a fight and feel like you might lose, you can just place down the exit and walk out of there. Another use for them is accessing higher areas, as you can place one down where you are standing, and one as high as you can reach, and then climb up steep terrains. As you will most likely be using the TP for Nexus rushing, you need to place it down at your base and at the enemies in a good position. A way to successfully place a TP without it being broken is to create a maze structure as it comes out. This will mean enemies will be forced to walk through the path, giving you time to kill them. Also, if you're placing the TP on an area that has a layer beneath it, make sure you elevate the TP by placing it on a block. Just remember, the harder the TP are to get to, the longer they will survive, so ensure that you guard your TP. When Nexus rushing, a good idea is to have another couple or few transporters with you who can set up more portals at different locations. This will mean your teammates will be able to teleport faster, and if one portal does break, you can just use another to set it up again. Another ability the transporter has is that every time a player goes to the portal, you gain a small chunk of XP. Although this doesn't seem like much, when you have an efficient portal, you can gain quite a few levels, which you can use to enchant your gear. Now you can move on to the rating of the transporter. For you sort, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. The ability to simply teleport yourself and teammates across the entire map is really useful, and things you can do with it are incredibly handy. For killing, I leave it a 5 out of 10. The transporter itself doesn't have any killing advantage, but you can use the portals to kill other players. This can be done by warping through and jumping out on enemies that do not expect it. For fun, I leave it a 7 out of 10. Now that the portals don't break when you die, it's a fun class to play as you're not worried about getting killed, so you can enjoy the Nexus Rush along with everyone else. For ease of use, I leave it a 4 out of 10. Setting up a TP can be a real pain, especially as you are targets at enemies, so you'll have difficulty in gaining access to their borders. For troll, I give it a 9 out of 10. You can easily just pop out of a fight if you feel like it, or go around trolling enemies as they lunge towards you. So the overall rating is only give it a 7 out of 10. The class is a really useful one for playing solo and in a team. If there is at least one transporter on the team, you'll most likely win, which is why most noobs ask if there is any TPs in the game. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to check out some of our other class videos, give us a like, give us a sub and give us a comment. I'll see you guys next time.